Hi, welcome to this video which is an introduction on what is often termed indices or exponents. Now what I've got here is 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself 5 times over. And we write this for short as 2 with a little 5 written just up to the right hand side of it. And it's pronounced as 2 to the power 5. And if we work this out, it's a common mistake to think that 2 to the power 5 is 10. Clearly it's not. You've got 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 again is 16, and then times another 2 is 32. So 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. So let's just write that down, how we pronounce that then. Okay, it's pronounced as 2 to the power okay, 5. Now it would seem then that if I had say something like this, 5 times 5, then for short this would be written as 5 and would have a little 2 here, 5 to the power 2. It's okay to say 5 to the power 2, but for the power of 2, we tend to say it as squared. So for this one, we would read this as 5 squared. Okay, so the squaring idea is meaning to the power 2. There's another one that you'll find that you get quite often, and that is when we repeat multiplication 3 times over. This is 4 repeatedly multiplied by itself 3 times over, 4 to the power 3. We don't generally say it as 4 to the power 3, but as 4 cubed. So if ever you get anyone saying what is 4 cubed, you'd know that they mean 4 repeatedly multiplied by itself 3 times over. And that's going to be 4 times 4 is 16, 16 fours 64, okay? Now you can often find that you're going to not only be dealing with numerical versions of this, but algebraic versions, where we're working with letters and also as well with numbers. So for instance, if I was asked to simplify this x times x times x times another x, write it for short, then this is x repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over. So it's x to the power four. Notice it's not 4x. 4x would be x plus x plus x plus x. Okay, now going back to numerical versions, suppose I had something like this. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How would we write this? Well, it is 3 multiplied by the 2 that is repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over. So we could write it as 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 4. Or we could write this with brackets, 3 bracket 2 to the power 4. Either way, what we get is 2 to the power 4, which is 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, multiply it by the 3, and 16 threes are 48. What you don't want to do is make the mistake though of thinking that this is 3 times 2 which is 6 to the power 4. It's not 6 to the power 4. 6 to the power 4 if we had it would be 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 and this gives a totally different answer. 6 6 is a 36 times another 36 gives us 1,269. Now suppose we go back to the algebraic versions and do say something like this. Suppose we had 5e cubed. What's 5e cubed going to mean? Well 5e cubed is going to be short for 5 times e that is cubed. That is e times e times e. 
Now, what about this one? Suppose we had this. If, let's say, we give a letter a number, like if C equals 3, suppose we're asked to find the value of a particular expression. Let's say we're asked to find the value of 2C to the power 4. What's 2C to the power 4 going to be? I'll just give you a moment to think this out. You might even want to pause the video at this stage and just work it out. OK, so what we're saying is that 2C to the power 4 is going to be short for 2 times C repeatedly multiplied by itself four times over. So in other words, C being 3 means 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And what does that come to? Well, 3 threes are 9, 9 threes are 27, 27 threes are 81, and 81 times by the 2 is going to be 162. So in summary, what I'm trying to say in this tutorial is that if you've got a number or a letter that is to the power n, then this is short for saying a multiplied by a multiplied by a repeatedly n times over. So we'll just put this down here that this multiplication is repeated okay, n times. And this is a result then that generally you've got to uh, try and remember. And in other tutorials we'll be looking at exploring this further. But for now I hope that's given you an idea then on indices or as I say as some people call them exponents.